Hello and welcome to the JBM Sports Fanatic channel here. And so we've got more news here from the Washington Commanders in which they're signing former Southeastern Louisiana quarterback Cole Kelly. That's right. He's going to be signing there with um, the Washington Commanders. And so a little bit about Cole Kelly. He's six foot seven, so he's got some height to him, about 250 pounds there. Um, so when it comes to his arms, you know, about 33 and three-fourths there. And so he came out as a redshirt senior. And so he actually had signed with Arkansas coming out of high school in the class of 2016 as a four-star recruit after starring in football and basketball in high school in Louisiana. But after that stalled out, you know, he um, starting four of his nine games, he played as a redshirt freshman in 2017. Um, and then he accumulated a total of about four touchdowns and three interceptions that year. I mean, one rushing touchdown as well. And then uh, fast forward there, he ended up transferring to um, Southern Louisiana. And so, um, yeah, so at Southern Louisiana, um, which is close to home for him, obviously being from Louisiana there, that's when he was able to take over for the round there at quarterback. And he earned the starting job for the team's um, 2021 spring season. Um, the school did not play in the fall of 2020 due to the to the um, pandemic. So, yeah, after that, in 2021 was when he was able to resume as a starter there. And so some of the analysis on him, they say, you know, the overview is that, you know, he's a towering quarterback with a body type closer to a tight end than a quarterback. They say Kelly came to, into Arkansas, obviously, as I mentioned, as a four-star recruit after transferring leave Southern um, Eastern, I'm sorry, Southeastern Louisiana as a highly decorated passer with eye-popping productivity. He has a fairly sudden release and attacks all areas of the field, but he um, feasted on lesser talent is what they're saying at the F FCS um, secondaries. And he's unlikely to find an NFL roster is what they say. Again, their words, not mine. Um, and he proves the, that he can work with better anticipation and more discipline when reading um, this film. So, I mean, he strikes me obviously as a guy that, you know, has size. They say more so of a tight end than a quarterback, but um, obviously he's going to come in with some tools that you can work with. And so, you know, they say um, some of his strengths are statistical production will grab attention. Uh, they say expedites operation time for quicker release. Ball comes out effortlessly. Over the top delivery makes him even taller in the pocket. And so imagine that six foot seven, throwing over the top. You don't have to worry so much about balls getting swatted down. That's a big positive right there. They say he says, they say the delivers um, throws deep. I'm sorry, delivers drive throws to deep middle with velocity. So ask velocity on that. And they said bulldozing option as a red zone runner. And so they said had at least one rushing touchdown in 10 of 13 games in 2021. So obviously you think of the size that he can, he knows how to use that size and leverage that size. And even when he's in the pocket, he's throwing it above the finish there. So you don't have to worry about balls getting batted down. I know in today's NFL, we have a couple of quarterbacks that are short and that is a concern that they have, but this guy, that's not a concern, but obviously coming in at this point right now, you know, in Washington, it's going to be a very uphill battle in terms of trying to make the roster there, but you know, they have practice squad for a reason. And he's the kind of quarterback that, you know, perhaps you come in there, develop him for some time and maybe sometime in the future, it may just end up working out. So certainly we'll see how things play out there for a guy like Cole Kelly, but man, he comes with some nice size to him and he, Hey, he got some zip on his passes. So certainly we'll see how that pans out because you just never know with these kids here. And so certainly it could work out well for Washington. We'll see. But with that being said, thanks again for watching guys and see you guys next video.